Hey guys, so what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great week. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be going over a ton of questions that I get about my 981 Cayman S. Some people put down in the comments below like different questions that they have, which is awesome because I try to get to at least every single person that comments on my videos. But a lot of people have actually asked me a lot of questions in person about the car. And recently with the new wrap, a lot of people have been asking me all kinds of crazy questions. So here's a video answering some of the top questions that I get about my Porsche Cayman S. All right, so one of the biggest questions I get is about the headlight film. So this is actually yellow, which, let me see if I can... So as you can see, the fog lights are on, they're also yellow. But I also have the uh, tint on the headlights themselves. So you can kind of see that it has like the yellowish to it. When the headlights are on, it actually projects out yellow. But this headlight film is actually by Laminex, which... I absolutely love it. So one of the things I really love about it is obviously the car has a race livery and a lot of race cars have the yellow headlights. All right, so different classes of racing have the yellow headlights and it's just kind of like one of those, like, kind of like a race car look. It looks super awesome. Here in Texas, they say you can have headlight tint, which it cannot impair your vision, which technically this is not impair. It does not darken at all. It just turns the light from a white to a yellow look. So I just really absolutely love it, especially to give it that that race car look just definitely with the yellow headlights and then the yellow fog lights I just personally love it and plus whenever it's raining it actually has a lot less glare but the film itself is by Laminex so definitely go check them out because these are awesome they actually came as a pre-cut set so the headlights themselves were actually pre-cut as well as the round fog lights so if you def if you want to set definitely go to their website they have a little thing where you can put in what vehicle you have and then everything pops up for your vehicle so definitely go check them out all right, so another big question that people have been asking me, especially with the new wrap, is like exactly what color it is, where it comes from, like what company makes it. So the main blue and the gray is actually both from Avery Denison. The blue is a gloss light blue, whereas the dark color, as you can tell, is satin. Um, it's a satin dark basalt. However, the neon yellow on the car is actually by Vivid. Um, they were the company that had what I found to be the best neon yellow. Uh, I don't know if it's coming up in the picture very well, but it's extremely bright. It's actually highlighter yellow. Um, I wanted it as bright as I could get. And for like the decals, like the silver on the uh, AVS logo, as well as like my YouTube channel, is also by Vivid. However, the silver I used on the AVS, as well as the MT Paradise, is actually reflective vinyl. So with the lights out, you can definitely tell that it glows. It's super bright. So you can see kind of with... This is kind of like the dark garage without the without the light on the camera. And then there's with it. So you can definitely tell that it's reflective vinyl. Also, it's on both sides. I did the AVS on the hood and reflective vinyl. As well as the MT Paradise on the front bumper. So as the back corner of the car shows, I have Fab Speed, which is the exhaust. So the only thing you can really tell right now is the carbon fiber exhaust tips. But in a previous video, I actually show installing this exhaust. This is the Super Cup Race Exhaust, which is pretty much the best exhaust that you can get from Fab Speed for the uh, Cayman base model, the S and the GTS. The GT4 actually has a different exhaust, but this is the best one I could get. Uh, I was actually comparing Fab Speed and Soul, and pretty much just back and forth, like they were both pretty much evenly priced. And what really got me was the carbon fiber exhaust tips. Like, I just absolutely love that. And Soul kind of has like a uh, satin kind of look to it, whereas the stainless steel of the Fab Speed is what I really like. Also, if you notice on the back bumper, I have k -N. So, k -N on the intake. So, definitely that helps out so much more. You can't really see it, but it's, it's, uh, it's up in there. <laughs> Not only do I have K&N intake, but I also use a K&N oil filter, which 
I just absolutely love. I feel like it's really great. It has a lot of amazing reviews. And plus, Keenan, and I've never seen Let Down Anybody, which I absolutely love their stuff. And also now back around for the front for something that I really absolutely love. One of my favorite upgrades to the car. It's actually this little front splitter trim. So this little trim piece goes from the front corner of the car, goes all the way around the front, and it actually kind of like contours to like the actual body itself, so it kind of dips down. It kind of goes with the shape of the front bumper. So this is actually rubber. So if I were to like hit a curb or something, it's actually going to fold under and protect the bumper from scratching. Uh, but also, I just absolutely love the look of it. All right, so the name of this company is actually called All Fit Automotive LLC. And this right here is actually, you can find it on Amazon, but they make it for pretty much every single car you can think of. It comes in a huge roll and you just get like different widths, but you just pick whichever one you want. You unroll it and it has 3M tape along the top edge. And it also comes with screws and, and kind of like these little plastic like rectangles that work kind of like washers. Um, so you could also, you could essentially tape onto the front bumper and then put screws along the underside. I actually chose to put screws on it just because it looks absolutely amazing. I don't ever plan on changing it. And definitely if I hit something or I just don't want it to fly off, I don't know how reliable that 3M tape was. Um, so I definitely wanted to go with something that's gonna be solid, it's gonna hold strong, and sadly enough, you can't really tell because it's rubber and it flexed, but this little, this front edge right here actually scraped on a entrance when I was going to a bank to run to ATM real quick. Um, so it scraped a little bit because it's a steep incline, it, even hitting it at an angle, that's why it's just the front corner that's a little scuffed. But I absolutely love it and it's already saved my bumper. So putting the little screws in the bottom is a small sacrifice when the entire front corner of the bumper pretty much got protected by it. So definitely go check them out. And like I said, you can actually get it on Amazon and it's for any car. Also another Amazon purchase, which surprisingly enough is on Amazon, is the side marker. So if you're in a state or a country which you can actually have the white side markers, definitely replace it because the original one was just all orange. It was like an orange lens and I, I think it looked absolutely terrible. However, uh, where I'm at actually in Texas, as long as I have the orange or the uh, amber light, then it's perfectly fine regardless of what color the lens or housing is. So whenever I turn it on, that actually lights up orange. So I do want to point out that I am an official Demolition member. So if you have not heard of Demolition Ranch or even Off the Ranch or Vet Ranch, definitely you have to go check out one of those channels, or all of the channels actually. Uh, super great guy, awesome, awesome channel, great content. And they're actually located on the outskirts of San Antonio, so that's actually pretty awesome because it's fairly close to where I live. So hopefully one day I'll be able to actually meet Matt, who is pretty much the king of the demolition. So once again, background to the back, especially looking at these taillights. Um, to get a hold of taillights like this, they're pretty much only made for the GTS. Um, the base model, the S, and the GT4 all use the red housing lenses. Uh, which this is the exact same light, however the lens over it is clear, so with the clear lens you can see right into the inside and you can see like all the internals and just all the little designs and it just looks really cool. However the one that came on the car, like I said, comes with the uh, the base S and the GT4 is all a red lens. I wasn't a fan of that, um, absolutely love how there's like black on the inside of here. The only red that you're seeing is actually this reflector that goes all the way around and then the inside edge of it right here is actually the LEDs. So if you have a base S or GT4 and you want to get these sick taillights, um, a great place is either find somebody who has a GTS and you can trade because a lot of people actually don't like these. They, they prefer the all red. I've actually had that in a few comments, like people prefer the all red, which also, it's up to person's preference. Like, like for me, I absolutely love these taillights better, and it's my car, my build, it's how I want it, and that's all that matters. Um, other people want have a GTS, and they want to put, they take these taillights off, and then switch it for these solid red ones. So if you find somebody like that and you want to trade, it'll definitely work out great. Also, I recommend uh, Suncoast Parts Porsche. Um, they actually have a pair of these at a decent price, so if you can't find somebody to trade, you can definitely go there. They have a lot of great reviews, so definitely go check them out. So another thing a lot of people ask me about is the wheel size. So when you look at it, 
it actually, they don't look like they're huge wheels. They're actually 20 inch rims. These rims are actually the Carrera wheels. So, I mean, they're the same exact ones found on the 911. Um, but if you want to know the size, it's 265, 35, and they're on 20s. Honestly, I feel like it could have been a little bit wider in the back. So on it right now, I actually have the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's, which I think they're pretty good. Since I'm already right here by the back of the car, I might as well talk about the intake. So a lot of people ask me if this is real or if it's decorative, which I don't know why Porsche would put a giant hole on the side of the car if it's just decorative. Um, so as you see, there's like this little divider in the middle. The top portion of it on both sides is actually the air intake. And then whenever I stop, um, you can actually hear a fan kick on. And this whole bottom part is actually the engine cooling. So whenever I shut off the car, it'll kick on a fan and it'll start pushing a lot of heat out of the engine bay. And it pushes out right here. Also, I'd assume whenever air flows in, it flows in to help cool around the engine. And it's the same for both sides. Whereas the Porsche 987, the left side, the whole left side is actually the intake. And then the whole right side is the kind of like engine heat exhaust. So when it comes to the interior, it's actually almost exactly the same as a Porsche 911, the 991. With the whole center console, these normally come in silver. I actually recently wrapped these in a blue carbon fiber, which I absolutely love. But what's really funny is even when I was pulling these panels off to wrap them, they actually the serial number actually said 991 starting off, which shows you that it's the exact same parts from a Porsche 911, the 991s. And the door, if you actually look at the uh, 991, the whole entire door is exactly the same. Even the mirror and the placement of the mirror on the door is 100% identical. And something really funny I noticed whenever we were wrapping the car, since we had to pull out like a lot of stuff, we had the hood open, we pulled out a lot of the trim that runs in along the edge of the, the hood. On the frame itself, on the front end of a Porsche 981 Cayman S, the serial number started off with 991, which when the serial number starts off, that tells you exactly what model it's made for. So the fact that the front end of this car is actually from a 911 991, which to me is absolutely amazing. So I got the entire inside of the car that's 991, including the seats. I got essentially the whole front end that's 991. Got the 991 wheels. Like the majority of this car actually is a Porsche 911. So the biggest thing that's different obviously is Caymans are mid-engine, which whereas the 911's the rear engine, which honestly I don't need little back seats. I prefer to have a mid-engine car. It's way more balanced. And I also have like a little trunk in the back. All right, since the engine's in the back of the car, a lot of people always ask me about the front trunk, which it's actually very roomy. But the majority of the questions actually come when I open up the back trunk. Because as you can see, the engine's not there. So one of the biggest questions I get about this car is, where exactly is the engine? Uh, if you don't know anything about Caymans, the engine actually sits kind of like underneath this box. So you can kind of see it like drops down right here. So I have this lower trunk and then this upper piece. So the engine actually sits directly underneath here. Uh, when I remove this little cap over there, it's actually for the oil. And then this cap is for my coolant. So now we're talking about the engine, it raises a lot of questions that people just have no idea about because if you've never seen this car, been around it, even myself before I even bought it, I was really confused and there's a lot of stuff I didn't know about. Like, how do you work on the engine? So Porsche actually designed this engine to be worked on from the bottom. So you raise the car up and you can pretty much do almost everything on the underside. The only thing really on top of the engine is the main intake as well as the uh, plenum, which is like the air intake manifold and the throttle body. But for the most part, everything else, you work on it from the bottom of the car, which I think is really cool. All right, so a lot of comments I get is um, about the exact size of the engine or specifically about the cylinder amount. So the newest model of Porsche Caymans actually has a turbo four cylinder and that's the 718 body style. <laughs> However, my Porsche, which is the 981, is the last generation of the flat six. It has six cylinders and they fire horizontally. So I keep getting a lot of people who are complaining about my car because they're saying that this is just a four cylinder, which honestly, even the new Porsches, uh, the new Cayman S has more power than this one and it's a turboed four cylinder, which 
Honestly, I did not want a four-cylinder, so that's why I went with the 981, because I still wanted that flat six. The sound of it is absolutely amazing. And honestly, I'd rather have a clean-sounding flat six than a turbo four-cylinder. Uh, but they're still amazing cars. But 981 is still a flat six. For all the people out there who keep saying it's a four-cylinder, it's not. And for the 981S, uh, it actually has a 3.4 flat six. All right, so another big question I always get about this car is about the wing. So a lot of people, they see that kind of has where it looks like it goes down and it sits flush, but they just always ask, is this active arrow? Does it go down? Does it come up? Does it go, does it move automatically? The answer is yes. So the wing actually pretty much can go up and down whenever it needs to. So I think it's like 60 miles per hour on the highway. It'll raise up to this position, which I absolutely love the look of it. So if you ever see me out and about, you will always see me with the wing up because I just absolutely love the look of it. With the wing down, to me, it just looks really plain and boring in the back end. So it just kind of gives it that extra little bit of, uh, that extra little flare in the back end to give it like that race car look. But if I wanted to, I can actually manually raise it and lower it uh, just with a simple push of a button. Alright, so if you're in the San Antonio area and you want to get your car wrapped, especially something crazy like this, definitely check out Apex Vinyl Solutions. Uh, it's actually a company that me and my friend Cameron started. He's the one with the uh, Golf livery Porsche 987 Cayman S. Uh, so we wrapped his car, then we wrapped my car. So this was all of our work that we did on this car, which looks absolutely insane. And so many people just out and about in public are commenting or, hey man, nice car. Um, if you guys see me out in public, definitely take a picture of it. I mean. It's going to be the only one that looks like this on the road. Take a picture, tag it on Instagram. So if you guys love this video, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely go down and hit that subscribe button down below. But as always, thank you for watching.